Hey everybody. So a brand new study has been published on why fiber might not be the best thing to consume. And I had previously reported on that in mice and now they've done it with humans. So I'm really excited to share this with you. So let me open up my slides and you can see what it's about. I go all the way. Okay, here we go. So the one that I had previously reported on, it was done on mice. I will link it in the description box below so you can check it out. And they were able to dependently trigger liver cancer in mice by using inulin. It's a type of fermentable fiber that is found in so many foods, so many health protein bars or health foods. Um, it's added to pretty much everything. And um, this is the new one that was published. So this this time this is done with humans. And it just came out in 2022, published in the journal Gastroenterology. And this is the abstract. The main thing here um, is that the analysis of human sera, which is plural for serum, revealed that elevated bile acids was associated with future development of liver cancer. So there's a really quick and easy blood test you can do to see if you have elevated bile acids. Normally it's done in pregnant women, but they're recommending that everybody does this bile acid test to see if you have a high risk of developing liver cancer, especially if you're eating fiber. So how does this work? It's because some people are born with this silent congenital defect called a portosystemic shunt. And so first in mice, they were able to figure out the physiology. So one in 10 mice developed liver cancer if they were fed this fiber inulin. And they also at the same time had the silent congenital vascular defect called portosystemic shunt, which led to them having high levels of bile acid in their blood. The, the portosystemic shunt led to blood. So what is a portosystemic shunt? It's basically blood leaving your intestines has to go to the liver where it gets filtered before it gets released into your general blood supply. If you are born with this shunt, your blood leaving the intestines makes a detour, doesn't go to the liver to get filtered, it goes straight into your blood. And so if you have that, you might not even know that's when there is this danger of you consuming fibrous diets. So those with portosystemic shunts have increased bile acid concentrations in the blood as well because the liver doesn't get a chance to remove and store the, the bile acids after they are reabsorbed from the intestine. So basically, the liver is supposed to reabsorb the bile acids from the intestines, and that kind of tells it like to regulate how much bile acids it's making, kind of like a negative feedback loop or mechanism. But because this is not happening, the liver doesn't know that you have enough bile acids. And so it keeps pumping out more and more and more bile acids. And eventually that spills over into your general blood supply, not only in your intestines, but that it spills over into your general blood supply. Excess bile acids eventually spill over instead of only going to the intestines, right? Now, this is one, one mechanism. Another thing is that you have, um, this is actually the bile acid is like a marker. This is how you can determine whether or not you have that shunt, that portosystemic shunt, if you're born with it. The second way that um, that leads to liver cancer is via inflammation. So the blood diverted away from the liver is higher in microbes and bacteria, and that leads to inflammation. In the mice, the body tries to dampen down the inflammation because unchecked inflammation for a longer period of time or a long period of time is very damaging to the liver and the rest of the body. And so what does the body do? It dampens down its immune system, but the thing is, we need our immune system because that's how it can detect cancerous cells and it can kill them that way. But if you dampen down your immune system, you can't detect and kill cancer cells. This is something to think about, about so many anti-inflammatory drugs that are immune suppressants that so many people take, right? 
So this is how you increase risk of liver cancer. You're dampening down your immune system because you're eating, um, you know, you're, you're, you have that portosystemic shunt and you have all this inflammation. So what is the prevalence or the incidence in humans? It's one in 30,000. So based on those numbers, it's supposed to be rare. However, it, the authors say it's probably a lot higher than that. Probably a lot more people have that shunt. They just don't know about it because it's a silent condition. There are no symptoms. Um, if you've had liver cirrhosis, you can develop portosystemic shunt as well. So that's another risk factor. So latest study in humans showed a 40% increased risk of liver cancer. So in this study that just got published, it showed that there was a 40% increased risk of liver cancer. If you consume fiber, and you have high levels of bile acid, which means that you probably have the portosystemic shunt and you're eating fiber, then you have a 40% higher chance of developing liver cancer. This is huge. And so the study found that men who had high fiber intake and high blood bile acid levels had a 40% higher risk of liver cancer. And what was the recommendation um, that the authors gave out is that everybody should test their blood bile acid levels just to make sure that you don't have that portosystemic shunt. And at the same time, if you do have it, be very, very careful of eating fiber. If you're not going to get that test, just be careful of eating fiber. You really don't have any need for fiber. There are countless people who consume zero fiber and they thrive. Our ancestors ate almost no fiber for 99.99% .99 of their existence as a species here on earth, and they were much, much healthier than we are right now. This is the graphical abstract, and you can see here just a quick little summary. You can see um, how if uh, if you didn't have the, the portosystemic shunt, it didn't matter what you ate, you'd be healthy. But if you did have the portosystemic shunt, and that lent to cholemia, meaning high blood bile acid levels, and um, you did not have the fiber, it's just, they just, this is in the mice, they gave them just a grain-based chow diet, um, no symptoms, no liver, no HCC, no hepatocellular carcinoma. However, if the, the mice had the portosystemic shunt and they ate that purified diet, that mean they gave them the fiber, the inulin, um, that led to liver injury, which led to the liver cancer. And so, this is what they would say, diet, dietary exclusion of fermentable fibers. That is the um, conclusion. And that's why I recommend the carnivore diet and check out the carnivore merch, eat meat, lift, repeat. This is my motto. This is on Teespring. All of the links to all of my merch are linked in the description box below. This is my Instagram if you'd like to connect. And this is my website, drsarazaldivar.com if you want to check out my coaching. And also the reference of this um, study is here and it's also linked below. And that's it. I hope this uh, made you a little bit more wary of fiber if you aren't already. And yeah, I will see you in the next one.